shore It was calling me a boy And as I climbed inside I saw you sitting hi guys welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is jennifer i do hope that you stick around by actually clicking that red subscribe button that is if you like the content that i share in this channel so today i thought let me actually do the video that i've been wanting to do for a while now but it's just that i've been collecting some things which is my bathroom renovation now we did the part of the renovation a while ago whereby we changed the tiles for the entire bathroom. I didn't change the top, I didn't change the toilet, we changed the tiles. We also changed the sink and put a new mirror. So those are the things that we did and I do think that it, it brought a new look to the bathroom, something that was not existing before and kind of fresh as well. I wanna show you guys what my bathroom looked like before so that you can kind of get a good view of what it was like, like what it looked like before and why i really wanted to change it i could have just left it but i really wanted to change it because my idea of this house was i really wanted to just bring it to life again bring a new look differentiate it from the other units within the complex so that when the time comes for me to rent out this unit i want to make sure that when i'm charging the price the price is also aligned with what you find in the property you know so i'll show you i'm gonna insert a, a, a clip here of what my bathroom used to look like i just wanted to show you quickly my bathroom this is the current state of my bathroom let me just go back so when we're changing the floors in the entire house we also changed in the bathroom and then now the only tiles that are left are those ones in this bathroom so I wanted to do it before because this is how it looks right now. We have that hideous cabinet there, the sink here, which I haven't been a fan of. But even though the sink that I'm going to install is very similar to this, and then that everything else will just, you know, will be there the toilet, the tub. But basically, this is the before. Okay, now that that is done, before we get into styling my bathroom, I want to also show you what I got from the shops. So I got, I bought things at Pep Home. I also bought things at Shea Street. And yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and something at Builders as well. So I'm going to show you each and every item. And I think I'm going to start with the big stuff. The first thing that I got from Pep was this, what do they call it? Framed caddy. It's a caddy. So I think everyone and their mom and their grandmothers have these or they know about these because these are quite popular at PEP, by the way. People actually love this. I've wanted to have this one. I've wanted to have this for a very long time and I've been asking my partner to buy it for me. So eventually we got it. So this is what we have. And that's because the reason why I wanted to have this is because I want to have a place where I can put towels for actually, yeah, I can put towels because right now we don't really have that place. And I'm trying to do away with having those small towels in the bathroom and just hanging things in the bathroom. I'm really trying to do away with that. So I wanted to have this so that I can have my big towels. They're easily accessible. And then without having to drill anything on the walls because I could have easily put shelves in the bathroom. However, I don't want to drill too many things in the wall because as I said, this is an investment property. I want to rent it. I want to rent this out eventually. So I wanted to make sure that when, when that time comes where, if, where now I have to rent it out, I don't have a lot of things that might be hideous for other people that people might damage and then it will gonna make my my property look tacky and so i'm trying to avoid drilling walls in my drilling my walls the next thing that i have is this art piece right here i don't know if you can see all of it but this is what it looks like i got this on special at builders it was 198 rand and the normal price was around 300 and something. I wasn't looking for this, but then when I saw it, I was like, perfect. I need something for my bathroom. And I, wait for, I went for lighter colors because I feel like my bathroom does tend, it does look a little bit dark because it doesn't get sunlight. And I wanted to play with light things so that I can bring in some light in the bathroom and a little bit of interest as well. So I'm supposed to be drilling this thing. This thing. I'm supposed to be drilling it in the bathroom but as i said 
I don't want to put too many holes because these are tiles. It's not walls. A wall you can easily put whatever the thing is to close the, the holes. But with tiles you can't do that and so i'm trying to avoid drilling a lot of holes in my tiles so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use double-sided tape and i hope that it's not gonna fall i'm just hoping that it's really not gonna fall if it does fall i'll be forced to actually do the drilling okay the next thing that i have which i picked up i normally buy these at pep so i got it from pep it's 18 what 50 60 rand it's a shower curtain i always buy i buy them at pep sometimes i buy them at mr price home but i feel that in mr price home they're expensive and these things don't last that's the first thing and then they get dirty so once it's dirty and looking bad i don't wash it i don't clean it i don't have the time i just throw it away and then i buy another one so i've been buying them at pep because they're cheaper 60 rands and then i use this so maybe it will last me for like three months four months before i see a need to buy another one and then i have a shower curtain not a shower curtain a curtain for the shower in here it comes with its thing to hold it which is very similar to this one so it's a curtain i bought these i got three of these at shit street when i moved in here which was 2020 when i moved in here so i got three of these and i didn't realize that i had one that was that has never been used and so this is coming in very handy i got them on special so i'm gonna put i first go in with the the liner and then i go in with the curtain and then it just brings everything together i got these towels from checkers they were 90 rands feels very soft but i know that this is not gonna last but it's fine it will do so i got two of these and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove the tags and i'm gonna wash them quickly before i actually get to styling my room because these are towels, towels that we're gonna use to dry our bodies and i want to make sure that they are actually clean and another thing that i got from pep it is this carpet right here looks very cute and it was 150 I got this caddy right here it was 40 rands from crazy plastic another thing that i got is this diffuser now i know that pep is not very good with diffusers but i needed something to just style my my bathroom i really didn't care about the smell i just wanted something to style my bathroom it says here improved enhanced fragrance so let's hope that the smell is more stronger or more potent now than what it was before because pep was just not doing the right thing when it comes to this thing so i have this diffuser right here 50 rands that's the price right there and it's orchards i don't even know what that smells like but as i said i bought it for the aesthetics and then the last things that i have are in here which i'm super super interested like happy about i got these things from shit streets so here's the first thing Here's the first thing that I got. This is a four plant and it's a succulent. It was 160, quite pricey, but beautiful, beautiful to the eye. I feel like on this candy that I got from Pep, it's going to look nice because I was trying to look for things that I can put on top on the first layer of the candy. And then on the middle one, I'm going to put the towels and then on the bottom, I'm going to put in some tissues and so that's gonna come in handy there and then another thing that i bought which smells so good oh smells so nice i think it's vanilla so this is it it looks like marble some sort ne? and i got this on special for 40 rands and let's see how much it was originally because that will be interesting it was actually not expensive it was 60 rands and i got it for 40 rands you know sometimes you can look at things and think you saved but for the fact that it smells nice, it's big. It's going to add some contrast in my bathroom. So I'm fine with that. And then other things that I got is this for bath thing. And then I got this one for my daughter. And then the last thing that I got is this thing to... What do you call this? nail brush three in one nail brush for 30 rands at she street it was 30 rands and basically i wanted this part and this part for my toes 
especially when I'm bath when I'm bathing, I can just use this, can reach out to this and just use it quickly. So those are the things that I got for the showering part and then yeah these for the showering part and then the rest is for styling you know decorating just bringing the bathroom to life and so what i'm gonna quickly do is i'm gonna put in the towels in the in the machine with the other laundry that i have to do and then once everything is dry once the towels are dry then i'm gonna start styling the bathroom and i'm gonna bring you guys along in that process even though my bathroom is quite tiny I can't bring in a camera in there but we'll find a way we'll find a way the next clip you're gonna see is me styling the bathroom and then oh, and then i'll give you the final tour of the bathroom so this is my bathroom not big as i mentioned not big at all but this is the view you get from the outside so that is the sink that i changed the sink that's the new sink that i changed and then we put in the mirror in there and then when you get inside when you get inside that's the tab and then the toilet yeah and goes with a shower right there so i have this from previously I just had to cut it because it wasn't fitting anymore so I had to cut that to make sure that it fits so I'm talking about this rail here so I'm going to start styling the bathroom mm -hmm. As I climbed inside, I saw you sitting there In a daydream, you were lost But you saw me through the fall You tried to hide behind your paper and your pen but you laughed instead
It was calling me a boy 